Zari, stop it. You're hurting him. Let him go. He pulls over the doctor. He knows what he's doing. Come on, you help me. Stay with me. Just stay with her. He's inside. This way. So what happened to the patient? The patient has vascular dementia. Possible stroke. Pulse is weak. How long has he been unconscious? Oh, 15 minutes. He was unconscious when I found him. Hi, sir. Are you okay? Was he alone? Yes. Okay. Bring in the gurney. Can we have some space? What are you going to do with him? I want to stay with him. Oh, we have to get Jamie to the hospital. <laughs> we will follow behind them and then you can see him there. Okay? Come. Yes, Jenadia. I'll see you at the hospital. Bye. Khalid? Why aren't you in bed? Mr. Elmi, okay? Though Elmi is not well, we have to get him to the hospital. It's late. Go to bed. Are you going to the hospital too? Yes. Is Mr. Elmi going to die? I don't know. We hope for the best. If you can, pray for him, okay? Okay, I'll pray for him. Good boy. Now, off the bed. Do we? I promise you'll be back when I wake up. I promise. Good night, Mama Rose. Good night, Kelly. Good night, Kelly. I mean, do you think Che Homi will pull through? Depends on the extent of the damage to the brain. If I got home earlier, he might have had a better chance. If Che Homi survives, it's because you bought him time. Abang. Why do you tell the paramedics that Chihomi was alone in the room? Chihomi wasn't alone? Ibu was with him. I was outside. I don't know. It was chaotic. I thought Ibu didn't know Chihomi was having a stroke. I didn't want them to be asking questions that, you know, might complicate things. What questions? Why would it complicate things? You saw how Ibu tried to stop me from saving Chihomi. Yeah. Yeah, I found that quite strange. She kept saying, let him go. It's his time. She's crazy. Why would she want him to die? Maybe she's in shock, confused. What are you thinking? What if Ibu knew Chihami was having a stroke, but chose not to? Uros, go find the doctors. Tell them to stop saving Henry. Why? They are hurting him. He doesn't want to be saved. Maybe that's what Che Homi told Ibu he wants? Firstly, we don't know if that is true. We can't trust Ibu's memory now. And even if it's true, Che Homi has to have an advanced medical directive to back it up. Does he have one? We don't know. Che Daddy, I would know. Who has Help me. He's in the emergency ward. The doctors are attending to him. Nadia, you tell them. Tell them that Hemi doesn't want any treatment. He, he doesn't want surgery. He just wants to go peacefully. Chinadia, does your husband have an advanced medical directive? No. You're lying. Ibu. I know Hemi has had enough of hospital stays and treatments. He doesn't want to come back here again because he was afraid he'll end up worse than before. Bedridden, unable to move and talk. Okay, let's try not to speculate. The doctors have yet to. Nadia, Hemi believes. It's his time to go. He wants to be with Muda. Ibu, I think we're all tired now. Why don't Zara take you home first? No, uh, I'm just going through. Where are they going? I think we all need a coffee. Yeah. Oh. I know I do. It's all my fault. I should have cared for him myself instead of leaving him with your family. You did what you thought was best for his well-being. He's in good hands. I know he's a fighter. Helm has been talking a lot about Muda lately. He said he wants to be with Muda. 
For the last time, Ibu, Cik Hermi doesn't have an advanced medical directive. They can't just take your word for it and do as you say. Why not? Because I have dementia? You think my brain is rosa? I'm talking nonsense? This isn't about you, Ibu. We're not Cik Hilmi's family. We can't make decisions on his behalf. That is what Hilmi wanted. How many times must I tell you? Yes, Ibu, we hear you. You didn't listen. Nobody listened. Rose, take me to see Hilmi's doctor now. Actually, I can't, Jay. Cik Nadia is with the doctors now, and she asked for privacy. Did you get to talk to the doctors? The doctor said that Cik Hilmi is stable for now, but he is still unconscious. They don't know when he will wake up, if he will wake up. Ibu deliberately let Chit Hilmi deteriorate last night. So Ibu was alone with Chit Hilmi when Zarif and I came in the room. By then, Chit Hilmi was already unconscious. You saw how upset Ibu was when Zarif tried to save him. I noticed. You really think Chit would... It's not what we think. It's what Chit Hilmi's family might think. Well, they can't prove anything. Chit Hilmi might wake up. And if he confirms it... We say it's his dementia talking. What about Ibu? She was practically running her mouth off yesterday. Who knows who she might tell next? We, we say it's her dementia talking. I don't think lying is the way to go. It's not lying because Ibu and Chia Homi really do have dementia. I don't feel good about it. Okay, fine. Then what do you propose? Come clean, which is Nadia. I'm with Saren on this. It's better to tell the truth than try to repair a broken trust. Sam? Sam? Mm. How's Jane and me? Uh, stable, but critical. He's still unconscious. Your Ibu must be devastated. She was hysterical. Poor you. Why are you sleeping here? You should have gone home and gotten some rest. I was studying for my Whipple surgery. Wait, what time is it? The pre-surgery meeting. I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. I'll pack. You go wash up. Oh. Okay, thanks. They told me to be prepared. That help me could stay in a coma. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. If there's nothing else, uh, uh she, wait. Uh, actually, we need to tell you something. When she healed me, had a stroke. She Adina was with him. We suspect that she was aware, but didn't call for any help because. I think she believed that Chit Hilmi didn't want to be saved. We are very sorry. We should have kept a closer eye on them. Please don't hold it against Ibu. She and Chit Hilmi were probably not thinking straight. Before Hilmi got dementia, he often talked about his fear of growing old, weak, or even worse, disabled. He wanted to make an advanced medical directive a few years ago. But you said he didn't have one. Because I didn't allow him. I don't agree with it. How can you just give up on life like that? I will not give up on Helmi. He's all that I have. I will do everything to save him.
Oh, yeah. Did you pack my bag? Yeah. Why? Nothing. What are you looking for? My comb. It's okay. I don't need it. See you. Ibu, you've got to stop babbling about letting Jeremy go. This is what Hilmi wants. He believes it's his time. This is going to get you into trouble. But Chi, you need to stop forcing the issue, especially now that Chi Hilmi. What happened to Hilmi? Chi Hilmi hasn't woken up. The doctors are still monitoring him. This is exactly what Hilmi didn't want to end up in this state. Hey, Sam. Why are you here? Thought you might want to grab a quick lunch together? Ah, I can't. I have to scrub in soon. Okay. After you see Jay then. What's wrong, Sam? Um, nothing. Are you here looking for this? Sam. Give it to me. No. Come on, don't do this. You lied to me. You said you stopped using it? I had a rough night, okay? I need that to get me through this major surgery. You're saying you can't function without this. Saif, you're on a slippery slope to drug dependency. It's just temporary, okay? After this, I'll stop. No more. I mean, enough, please. A lot is riding on this surgery. Uncle Surya's lives depend on it. That's double the dosage. Don't worry, it's safe. She refuses to eat or talk to anyone. I don't know how to help her. You can't expect her to get on with life as normal. She misses Jamie. You see, that's what I'm afraid of. She starts pining for him and then falls into depression and declines further. How do we get her out of the rut? Let's wait and observe a bit. Give her some time. said Ibu ate a bit just now. Good. Did she take a medicine? I'll check the pill box. Che, is everything okay? I want to make an advanced medical directive. Okay. Why this sudden decision? I want to take control of my life while I still can. When the time comes, when I become weak, bedridden, unable to eat or talk, if it's time for me to go, I want to go peacefully without pain. Che, this is a big decision. Yes. Why don't we discuss this when Zarev comes back? What's there to discuss? It's my life. I don't want to end up like Hilmi. Because of you people, he's in a worse state than before. I told you he doesn't want to be safe. None of you listen. Ibu, until he has expressed his wishes in black and white, his family's wishes take precedence, and that is to save him. I know Helmi better than his family, better than anyone else. But you're not his wife. He trusted me. I promised to fulfill his last wish, to let him go when it is his time. But Zarif had to capo and saved him. Why? Because Helmi didn't have an AMD. If he had one, he wouldn't be suffering now. To tell you the truth, I was a little concerned about you assisting today. Yeah, I know I lack experience in ripple surgery. Still? You managed to knock it out of the park in the OT, I heard. Dr. Fanny Father and the surgical team were full of praise for your work. I tried my best. 
<laughs> well, I'm impressed to see you bearing up well given the circumstances. Even Prof Seethel was very pleased with the progress in your research. Prof Seethel has been a great mentor. Keep up the good work, Dr. Zarif. And uh, perhaps we can go for a round of golf when things are more settled. Yeah? Sounds great. Look, Jake, give us some time to look into the AMD. No. Little I will forget. Who knows I might die tomorrow. Why are you talking about dying when you're still alive? Ibu, you're telling us to sign a legal document to let you die before your time? AMD is not about that. It's about... Wait. It's about not using extensive mechanical or technical means to extend, lengthen or sustain life. Means if I can a heart attack or stroke, like heal me, I don't want anybody to do anything. Zero medical help. If it's my time to go, I want to go. I want it to happen naturally. But well, what about what we want? Don't we have a say in this? It's my life. It's about me. Not you. Yes, it's always about you. You never care about what we think or how we feel. Zara. No, you dictated what we wore, what we ate, and even who we married. Can you just for once stop thinking about what you want and think about what we want? When I'm dying and in pain, you want me to think about how you feel? Shouldn't it be about how I feel and what I want? Let's discuss this calmly. No, I don't. I can't agree to this. I don't need you to agree. I can get my doctor and his nurse to be my witnesses. The website says I don't need family permission to make an AMD. Provided you're mentally sound. It says over here that you need to be at least 21 years old and above and not mentally disordered to make an AMD. Or did you miss that? I'm not mentally disordered. Well, I'm sorry, Ibu, but your dementia disqualifies you. You think you are so smart? You think you know everything? You're worse than your brothers. When you become old like me, I hope your children make you suffer like me. You see, this is why I opposed to Ibu and Che Helmi's relationship. This is all your fault. Did we make a mistake with Che Helmi and Ibu? No one saw it coming. Zara did. I never expected Ibu to be this unhinged. Could she be acting out in shock? Highly possible. Jeremy was everything to her. Yet she let him die. I can't do it. I, I can't simply watch someone I love die and do nothing. And Ibu, I don't know how she could be so careless. Or selfless. Maybe to her is a release for Jeremy. The man she loves. You call that love? She chose to endure the pain of losing Chi Hilmi rather than watch him suffer. She chose to let him go. It's hard and painful. Letting go of someone you love. But you do it because you want the person to be happy, to be at peace, even if it's not with you. I should go and check on Chief. The surgery was a success. I knew I could trust you, Doctor. Thank you. It's a team effort. Rest well. Let us know if you feel any discomfort. Then, Callum told the teacher Sean hit him. So the teacher scolded Sean. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Sorry, um, what were you saying? No, no, listen to me. Sorry, I was thinking about something. To help me? No. I mean, yes. Will to help me get better? I don't know. Can't she live safe to help me? When you love someone, you want that person to be happy. 
even if it means letting the person go. I don't understand. One day, you will. Hmm? All right, enough talking. Uh, drink up your milk and then go to bed. Where are you? Home. Why? Let's meet. Now? What happened? Nothing happened. Is everything all right? Yes, I just... I miss you. I need a time out. Distraction from all the craziness. Please? Okay, I'll make my way over now. Great. See you. Just the man I wanted to see. Hey, Celia, what can I do for you? You mentioned the other day that you wanted Maxine to have a mother figure, just as I was to you. Mm -hmm. What qualities would you want in this mother figure, uh, hypothetically? Um, I mean, maybe she could be uh, you know, strong, compassionate, and independent, and have a nice smile. Interesting. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I won't hold you back. I'm sure you have very important work to do. Mm. As do I.